The Forage Council is holding a silent auction fundraiser, and joining me now is uh, Caitlin Jacobson. Thank you so much for joining me. So tell me about this um, this fundraiser that you're having. Is this um, coinciding with the fair, or is this completely different? Right. Nope. It'll be it'll be coinciding with the fair. The silent um, basket auction will be during fair. Um, 4-H Council is working with 4-H clubs in Lincoln County. 4-H um, clubs are donating some baskets. Um, each basket would kind of have like a different theme. Um, I know there's one club that's doing like an ice cream sundae theme. So um, everything in the basket will be everything you need to have a an ice cream sundae evening at home or um, some other baskets or just like summer fun goodies. Um, and so... 4-H Council has two to three fundraisers a year, and we use all the proceeds to um, give it back to 4-Hers in, in our area. 4-H um, Council gives out scholarships every year to um, outgoing seniors, and we use it to help purchase awards that are given out during fair um, and that kind of a thing. So just encourage everybody to come on out and check out their silent basket auction. And where is this going to be at? It'll be, yep, so all the baskets will be on display in Centennial Hall at the fairgrounds. Okay. Um, and if you follow our Facebook page, we'll post pictures and descriptions of the baskets on our Facebook page, um, Lincoln, Logan, McPherson County, 4-H. Um, so if you want to kind of see, get a preview of the baskets before you come on out, you can certainly do that. Um, or message, um, call our office or message a council member to put a bid in if you're not able to come out. The auction will be, um, it'll start on Tuesday, July okay. 25th, and it won't open until 8 p.m. that evening. And then we will keep the auction open until the Saturday affair that July 29th. We'll close it at 5, and then you'll have to come pick up your basket in Centennial Hall. Okay, so you'll be calling them? Yep, we'll call the whoever wins the basket, whoever has the highest bid. We'll give them a call, let them know that you are the winner of this basket, and then you can come pick it up. All right, so just yeah. one of the many activities that people can do during the fair. Yes, for sure, yeah. And 4-H Council, like I said, it um, they're kind of the behind-the-scenes um, people. They help with a lot um, during fair that, that people don't see. So, um, and these fundraisers, like I said, we only do two to three a year and we just really kind of count on these fundraisers to help us, um, you know, function throughout the year to, to pay for awards, to pay for scholarships, um, whether they're college scholarships, mm -hmm. we do camp scholarships for um, 4 Hers to go to 4-H camp and those types of things. So. The, the proceeds definitely go back to youth in our area. Well, wow. so you must really generate quite a bit of money from from uh, this silent auction then. Yeah, yeah, and um, of course we have sponsors as well, but fundraisers are also obviously a big help throughout the year as well. Okay, so, all right, yeah. thank you so much, Caitlin. Yeah, thank you. Of course, and uh, here's Mr. Food's Kitchen.